Hi, I wanted to make this quick video to share with you my secret source sleeve block. So this is a draft that you can make for an existing bodice block or pattern that's supposed to have sleeves. You only need a few measurements to make this block. So you need the front armhole and the back armhole measurements, and you should take both of those curved with a tape measure from the pattern or block that you're creating the sleeve for. And you need to know the sleeve length. What you'll end up with is something that looks a bit like this. I've traced mine onto card. The draft is based on a simple triangle and I'll take you through it step by step to see you in the demo. To make this sleeve block, we need three measurements. We need the front armhole, the back armhole and the length. So first up, I'm gonna measure my armholes. So I've got my bodice block here. What I would advise you is to fit your bodice block, make sure you're happy with the fit um, and that you like the shape of the armhole and things. And then once you've turned that into a block, traced it off onto card maybe, then make a sleeve for it. So I'm gonna measure my back armhole. So I'm gonna get my tape measure, hold it up sideways, and then measure the curve from shoulder point to underarm. So that's 21.8 centimeters. Repeat that for the front. If you've got a tape measure with metal on it, you can just bend the metal. So that is 18.8. You'll notice I've got a three centimeter difference between the front and the back. This varies for different bodies. It's usually about two or three centimeters different front and back. It depends on your shoulder position and the shape of your armhole and things like that. So I'm done with my blocks for now. I can put them to one side. Next, you wanna add these two together. So I want the total armhole. So my total is 40.6. And then the next measurement you need is your sleeve length. So I'm just gonna go for a 60 centimeter sleeve length, um, but you can measure your own arm or the arm of the person who's gonna be wearing it. So I've done the inch conversions for you here, if that's easier for you to understand. Now, the bit of paper I've got here is big enough for my sleeve draft. So this bit, the width should be um, your armhole circumference at least, plus a bit extra, times the length plus a bit extra. So I always add about this much either end so that I've got a bit of space. I'm gonna be drafting up this way. So I'm gonna turn my paper around now to draft the top triangle for the sleeve. So. 40.6 is my total armhole. I actually need to divide that into three. You can round up or down if it's easier, like if it's a couple of mil out or whatever. So 40.6, I'm gonna go for 13.5, because that gives me 40.5 and it's only a mil out, so I'm happy with that. This represents the height of the triangle. So what we wanna do is at least this far down plus a bit extra. So I'm gonna go about 20 centimeters down from the top of my page. You want to draw yourself a line across the width of your paper. I am gonna go slightly above my line so that I can use the spots and crosses. And I'm gonna draft this. So this represents your underarm line. Next, you wanna right angle a line up into the center of that line so from the line upwards, again, if you're using spot and cross, use that to help you. And then from this point up, you're gonna measure your crown height here. So it's a third of your total armhole. So we got 13 and a half, and then square out from there, just a little way each side. You want about a centimeter each side to square out. The right hand side, is gonna be my front armhole, and the, the other side is gonna be my back. So now I wanna draw a line from this point down to this line that is the same as my front armhole. So my front armhole is 18.8 centimeters. So I'm gonna find 18.8 here, and then rotate the pattern master so that I get it at zero, and it matches that line. Draw that in. 
I'm going to repeat the same thing with the back armhole measurement here, just as a straight line. So 21.8 centimeters. This only goes up to 20. So I'm going to do 1.8 the other end. And then draw that straight line in. So now we want to draw our curve shape. So for the front armhole, this is nice and easy. We want to split this line in two. So you can either measure it or you can use your pattern master and make each of the numbers say the same thing either end. Mine's pretty easy maths, it's 9.4. So I am going to go ahead and draw the center of that line. Then I'm gonna halve it again, which is 4.7. And then I'm going to halve this space again too. So I'm splitting this line into four equal sized measurements. For the back, you're going to split it into three. So if, it, if you're ending up having to split like a millimetre into three, you can round it up or down like a millimetre or two. That's fine. My measurement's 21.8. So I'm actually going to go... 7.3 millimeters in from each edge. So my middle section will be a millimeter out. So I want 7.3 and 7.3. And then this last section here, you wanna split that in half. So if you can't be doing with the maths, you can just use your pattern master to split that in half there. These are the guidelines to draw in the curve. So what we want to do is bring this curve out here. We want to touch this line, come back at this point and then meet it at nothing at this junction here. For this one, same thing. We want to come out, touch the line at that point come back on ourselves a little bit and then curve it back round to touch that point there so that these two points will match each other when you come to sew it. So the measurements for these points are, for this top one, you wanna mark 1.5 out. For this point, you leave it. For this point, one centimeter in. So this is roughly three quarters of an inch and this is roughly three eighths of an inch. For the back, this bit, we wanna bring it out two centimeters. So I'm trying to right angle the line to get the right point, but it's okay if you're a bit out. So two here, this one is half a centimeter. So that's roughly seven eighths of an inch and that is roughly a quarter of an inch. Now to draw the curve. So I'm gonna draw this in pencil first and then I'm gonna go over it in pen so that you can see a bit clearer. So what we wanna do is come from this top. You want like a plateau here, you don't want that to be pointy. Also, when I'm drawing my curves, I always rotate my paper. So you can use your wrist as a pivot. You can also use your elbow as a pivot to make circles, that's how I draw curves. So rotating my paper round, I'm going to use my wrist as a pivot to come from this plateau and meet that point. If you have to go either side of it and it makes a better curve that way, absolutely go for it. Keep turning the paper. I want to bring that in to touch the line at that point. Then I'm going to turn the paper round more to face the other way, come in from the other direction. So I'm going to go from nothing to touch that point and then back round to meet my curve. I'm gonna repeat that for the back. So you might wanna come from here, it depends if you're left or right-handed. So I'm coming up and round to touch that plateau. And then from here, curving down and into nothing. That is a pretty good starting point for a sleeve head shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in in pen so you can see it really clearly. So 
So you've done the most difficult part now, which is the sleeve head curve. Now to draw the body of the sleeve. So sleeves from the underarm point down are symmetrical. So what we want to do is find the center of this line. It's not going to be that because the front arm hole is smaller than the back, isn't it? So we want to find the middle section between here and between here. So again, I put the pattern master down and find the point where both of these numbers say the same. You can also measure it and divide it by two. It's entirely up to you. So that's my middle. I'm going to turn this sideways so I can draw the length of my sleeve. And then I want a right angle from that center point down to the hem. If you're using spot and cross, you can also use the spot and cross to help you stay straight. Next, I want to measure my length, so I'm going to go for 60 centimeters. So from the top, straight down, literally at the edge of my paper, amazing. I'm going to come in a little bit and do 59 because I haven't got enough paper. This is why you need extra paper. And then what you want to do from your length point is square out both sides. After that, you want to extend these all the way down to the hem. This is also a right angled line, so I can use that to check that I'm doing it all straight as well. And I'm looking here to make sure that it agrees with my paper. And repeat this side. You're probably not going to want a sleeve that's this wide at the hem. Uh, it's not very flattering. It looks a bit, it's, it's not full and it's not um, fitted. It's kind of in the middle and it's not very flattering at all. So you're going to want to bring this in a little bit each side. The maximum I suggest for this is about five centimeters or two inches. So I'm going to go in five centimeters, maybe a bit less actually. I think I'm going to go four because I used quite a small block to make this sleeve. Use your judgment. You don't want it to be too extreme going in. And you can also measure this. So I've got 22 centimeters here. You basically want to make sure that that is big enough to go over your hand and that it's not going to be too much of an extreme angle. So you can use your own judgment with the width of that. And you want to do exactly the same here and exactly the same here. So I've gone for four. I've got memory of a goldfish. four centimeters there. And then it's a case of connecting this to this and this to this. And that, my lovely, is your finished sleeve block.